Hello everyone, my name is Sagar and in this video I'll be talking about something that I have been using personally for over one and a half year and it has helped me um, shape my concepts and look at physics in a new way, especially physics, not mathematics. My mathematics is a little hard for me to understand so I look at it in a way that I can understand it physically and um, make up notes and follow my lectures in college and revise concepts all over, you know. So in this video I'll be talking about MIT Open Courses. So these are pre-recorded lectures of MIT Classroom um, that are uploaded by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology on YouTube and along with all the notes and lectures and their assignments and exams and the course material they follow and the books and references and everything uh, and also some demonstrations. So these lectures are basically a boon if you're studying in college and even if you're doing any preparation be it for J or NEET um, or IAT or any any particular preparation for any exam that you do give after after your 11th or 12th and even if you give it after your um, uh, degree that is standard degrees uh, these lectures will definitely help you out to um, gain a new perspective on whatever subject that you're looking for along with your course lectures now first things first these lectures are meant for every student, um, be it they are from a PCM background or from PCB background or they're from economics. If they can follow through these lectures in such a way that they have a preliminary understanding of what they have learned in their 11th and 12th um, or even if uh, up to the grade 10, and these lectures will work just fine if they can follow through the course materials in a consistent way. They have to be consistent. Now, if you're watching this video and you're a college student, then I'm sure that you have found a little difficulty in following up in online classes, especially if you are giving, you know, taking online classes, like me. But uh, if you're if you're feeling a li little difficulty, then these lectures will definitely help you out to uh, revise the concepts that you've learned. I understand that not all courses in all the universities and institutes will be the same as they are in MIT, but certain and most of the topics are definitely there. Like if I talk about calculus in one variable, well, that is a lot of calculus that you will not find in your courses in your you know traditional institutes. But it is most of the calculus that you should know. And if the, what you're learning in your institute is apart or different from what you're going to see on MIT Open Courses, that is just fine. It's just extra knowledge and you can gather that just by looking at some video on YouTube or even MIT's website. So here's the deal. Something is different about online pre-recorded courses and that is that when people start this series, they're really excited and they are like, wow, this is something like magic I have found on the internet and I, I want to thank MIT for uploading this series. And by the end of the series, most of the people who started watching the series have given up. Even uh, e either they, they are um, just watching the first episode to see what that series is about or is it like or maybe it's that they were not motivated enough to finish the series but most of the numbers like uh, you know any in any series if it's around 60,000 in the third third episode or third lecture uh, then it stays consistent throughout the series so that happens because when we start watching an online lecture we are really excited to watch the whole series and um, but by the end of the series something weird happens and that's because of our cognitive tiredness we basically lose interest or we get frustrated because we are not able to interact with people online courses have this if they are pre-recorded then they have this drawback and to get around this there's one simple thing that you can do whatever you've seen in those lectures first of all make notes of those things secondly if you've seen something and that interests you and that baffles you like oh my god i have never seen this before and you just feel like you have to share it with someone well do share don't feel like i want to constrict this knowledge to myself so that whenever someone asks i'll be the first one to answer just share that knowledge with your friends and colleagues and even professors so that they know that you're trying something apart from the you know um, traditional structure they'll be proud of you they'll be not like why are you doing this when i'm already teaching you something and if that's the way well then uh, I don't know what that says about that professor or even if they're your colleagues. So um, if you get tired of watching any series, you should always consult people or talk to them about that particular series that you're following. Now, how to actually follow that series? It's really hard to, you know, um, be consistent and disciplined about watching that series. It's all about discipline here and consistency also. Consistency can be easier. You can just turn on the lecture and uh, sit through it and maybe you've learned something. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you forget it the next day. The thing here is discipline. You have to stay disciplined. Education is not about watching a lecture and then thinking that you've learned it. Education is about watching that lecture, reflecting upon what you have learned and trying to explain yourself and then interacting with someone and then giving a test to see how much you remember of it. And if you can apply it to some 
fundamental phenomena or a physical world then that's even better it cannot be done always but it can be mostly done now if you're disciplined about starting the series then you can stay disciplined at finishing the series the the difficult thing is to stay consistent now here's the trick that i personally used what i did was when i was watching a lecture i did not simply go on to the lecture and watched it i what i did was i waited for the syllabus to be uploaded on the in university's website and i went there and i looked what we were going to learn and i made those points and then i went to the mit's website and found those particular lectures and then i made a list that these are the lectures that i have to watch primarily and after revising these lectures over and over again because i'll not learn everything at once i have to revise so after doing that i will be able to uh, reflect and learn and see how much of it i have actually grasped and even after discussing with my colleagues i can move on to the lectures that are not really there in my course structure in the university so that's one thing that i used and it was really helpful what i did was i always try to stay ahead of what we're learning and that way i can stay competitive to myself i mean i don't have to beat someone here i just have to learn so that the next day when i'm going to learn something i'm not feeling tired or demotivated and even if that happens i just forget about that particular lecture for that one day and i see what i have to revise or what is it that the lecture had taught me the lectures have taught me throughout the um, the particular series and i can just revise the whole thing because i know my brain is stupid and will forget things um if that happens with you then you should also revise revision is really helpful that is something that i have learned through my preparation of je and iit and nest although i did not qualify nest um i scored mediocre in je but i did qualify iit <laughs> so um if you can revise the concepts that you have learned Uh, even if they are in your institute's notes or the MIT notes, uh, try to compile the two because if you make separate notes, it will be hard to follow. Just do something. If you're starting one particular lecture, say you're going to study waves, then make a particular lecture for waves uh, for the institute and just write those things down from the book you're you know ref- referencing to in your institute. Then move on to the next page or whatever section you're in, and then try to make the notes for MIT courses. that's how you can stay consistent for that particular lecture and that and that gives you a sense of understanding from a different perspective if you look at a problem from the same perspective that everyone has been looking at then what is it that you have learned new you know you're, you're basically looking at it the way that everybody does so you have to have some other perspective i personally talk about physics a lot because that's something i really love not something that is the only thing i love a lot <laughs> um so if i want to look at some problem say it's a pendulum i don't want to look at it in in newtonian world only i want to look at it in lagrangian mechanics and hamiltonian and if possible i will look at it in 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 quantum mechanical way as well but that's not something i will learn in one particular course only if i have time and energy and i want to dedicate all that to one particular thing well i will do all that i can to understand that concept in such a way that anybody that gives me anything regarding that problem i can solve it and that gives me a sense of accomplishment and that makes me complacent now that that is hard for every other subject but you can do that with one subject that you love the most i do that with physics personally if you are a mathematics person do that with maths but don't try to complete it in every subject you can't be perfect in everything but you have got to be good at one thing that makes you skilled right so i try to do that with physics personally and if you can do that with say biology then just tell me in the comments below if you feel that you're lagging behind in the courses just just take a pause reflect on your thoughts again and then start next day if you feel you're lagging behind in your know, courses in the university because of the mit courses forget the mit courses for one day revise your concepts at the university of the university lectures and then go back to mit courses that will that will give you that okay now i know this one thing and i have to revise and look at it in another way and i don't feel left behind in my university lectures so that's something that you can definitely do and you should do it the next thing is that if you feel like quitting well everybody goes through that phase if you're feeling like quitting just remember why you started you started because you wanted to learn you wanted to educate yourself in such a way that one day if someone comes to you and asks that please explain this particular concept to me you can do that that's why you started right you wanted to improve yourself so that you can educate others now the mit courses and their institutes website does not really care that you started that series it is you who started that series so just stick with that and if you're going through that just let your professors know that i have been following this series if possible so that you know even if you feel that you're feeling lagged behind just tell them that this is the particular thing i feel stuck at and they will let you know that okay um maybe give up on that or maybe um you know look at it differently you should stay in contact you should not feel like okay i'm doing this mit courses and now i will give up my professors work because you know mit is the best no the institution that you're studying in is where you will get your degree from right so you have to respect that you're not studying at mit you're taking their help because that is something available online because mit is generous enough 
um, not everybody not every other institution is um, you know that way stanford is good harvard is good for that particular matter stanford's lecture on relativity and quantum mechanics are amazing i haven't watched them but i wish to i couldn't because i don't understand that very well i'll have to go through the books if you can do that well then you've got it if you can do that one thing and manage another things also then that's good and you can also watch professor hc verma's lecture those lectures on um, i think classical mechanics and quantum mechanics and special relativity they are absolutely stunning i mean and even on nuclear physics they are absolutely stunning if you can watch through them along with your core structures if you are you know in the third year or fourth year or even in the second year i suppose then those lectures will really help you along with your core structures you know those traditional core structures that we're following in the universities these days that you will feel happy that you are definitely doing something and don't do it for the sake of examination uh, the way that you know that you learn it is that you can educate someone so do that for the sake of learning okay so that's my experience with the mighty courses and um, i am really thankful that they are really there on the youtube i mean okay and i hope that this video was helpful and if you found that there is something that i'm missing or i overstepped please let me know in the comment section below and i will meet you there thank you bye bye